Hey, hey, hey! I thought I would hop on today and talk about some expectations as a network marketer. This is something that I feel is very, very important if you want to create success. Most network marketers, they want to be successful, but the truth is, is they lack the skills that they need. They get scared, desperation kicks in, and they start thinking that everybody they talk to, they've got to recruit. When it comes to prospecting and recruiting, the best of the best closures in the industry, and I'm talking about, you know, the Eric Warries, the Ray Higdon, have a close rate of about 30%. The average closing rate is 10%. And that's if, you know, you're okay, you know, at, at prospecting prospecting and recruiting, you've got a few skills under your belt. 5% is the average close rate for somebody who really doesn't really have any skills. So that means on average, if you talk to 10 people, you're probably going to be able to close one of them, okay? As so many people, they just think that, you know, they get frustrated if they talk to five people and they didn't close one. Well, you just simply have to talk to more people. And I want, you know, a lot of people come into this industry and you know, they have this misconception that all of their friends and family are just going to jump on board. And that's not the case. That's simply not the case. Most of your friends and family probably aren't going to join you. A few might, but the, the majority probably won't. A big takeaway is to not be addicted to the outcome. When you're out there prospecting and you're talking to people, be okay if they say no. And I see, you know, a lot of people, when that fear kicks in, they automatically, you know, they start misrepresenting opportunities and giving false expectations. And when they talk to people, um, they start saying, oh, well, it's, you know, this industry is easy. It's easy. You know, just make a list. Talk to everybody, you know, talk to everybody on that list. And, hey, you'll be making money in no time. Again, cray cray. I know, right? Because this industry is not easy, guys. It actually takes work. So to think that you can come in and that you can talk to a few people, put in a little bit amount of time and, and minimal effort into it and that you're going to be making a ton of money is simply you're setting yourself up for failure. You're setting yourself up for a lot of frustrations. You know, I connect with five to t about five to ten people a day and, um, you know, through social media or uh, friends, things like that. The people that I talk to that already are in the industry, I ask them, well, how's business going? And, you know, try to find out with, you know, try to find out things that they're struggling with. And many struggle with prospecting and recruiting. And so the question I always ask is, well, how many people are you reaching out to? And I find that most people are reaching out to maybe five to 10 people a week, if that. And um, so if you want to grow a big business, just make sure that you're reaching out to more people. I would say, you know, three to five a day is a good number, especially, you know, um, if you don't have a ton of time to put into it. Know that consistency is absolutely a key to your success. If you are not out there being consistent every single day, um, you're, it's probably going to take you a heck of a lot longer than if you were creating content every day, reaching out, prospecting to people every day. So I hope this has helped you guys. I hope you guys have found some value. Uh, if you like this and you'd like more tips, feel free to visit my website at sherrybrowncoaching.com. Uh, S-H-E-R-R-I, Sherry with an I, browncoaching.com. And until next time, bye.